Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is Steven, as always, and I want to show off really quickly my mostly finished uh, Minecraft computer. I've only got a few things left to do, but I um, figured I'd show it because it's nearing a state of completion where I can kind of step away from it for a while without feeling too bad about it. Um, this is the finished control panel. <laughs> And I'm going to point out everything, I'm going to show you all the details behind the scenes, and hopefully the next night cycle, I'll actually run some uh, of the, some of the stuff on it, uh, so we can see it a little better. I replaced the front with wool, because the, uh, the smooth stone I was using was really hard to see, but, um, so these are the control panel, this is, um, I should probably put some signs on here. We'll look at these signs. So these are uh, the red and yellow are four bit numbers that we can add. So a four bit number is anything between zero and fifteen. And then I think you can also do like negative seven with it, negative eight, depending on your notation. And so our display initially couldn't um, display anything greater than a uh, four bit number, but have an add-on right here that I'm going to explain. So I've got the numbers, um, and these buttons I have hooked up to be like toggle switches, so they act like levers, and I'll show you the circuit for that. So then for our counter, I have a power control, uh, that tells, and then this light that's wired on tells you when the uh, switch is down, and I'll show you how I made that. It's really easy. Counter ready means the counter, you know, if you push this button, it'll start. Uh, so if you push this, this light will turn off until it resets the boat. Auto counter power is my, um, you know, it counts automatically for you, and I've got an indicator light for that. Manual increment press uh, plus one, that just means um, if you hit this button, the counter will go up by one if the auto counter is off. And this is a light that, like, every time you push it, it'll just blink really quickly. So that's the control panel. And behind the control panel, we have the um, <laughs> nightmare of wiring. So this is a little thing I came up with. Um, I promise I did come up with it. Somebody else used it or uh, thought they come up with it. came up with it in the past, then they're probably right. I just was trying to get a way to make this lever show up with the power immediately above it. I think this is the most compact way to do it, but I could be wrong. So if you want to borrow this, you're more than welcome to. It's just this little um, two single units and shaft here with inverter, 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 and then wire on top, wire on the bottom, and wire out. So these lines I have labeled for my own sanity when I was rewiring all this crap to fit behind the, the, um, the control panel here. So you can see like where the various things go. And so if you look at these giant massive structures here, these are the um, T flip-flops, T standing for toggle, flip-flop meaning a memory cell that holds the state of the... Um, buttons for the calculator, and I use th this design because it is only one block wide the whole way. Let's see, look, you can see all the way through. It's just one block wide, uh, seven blocks tall, and then I have the um, input wrap around the top to go to the torch on top, kind of like what this thing does, but way bigger because this thing is huge. So this just tells you whether or not the button's on, and that's nice because, you know, a normal button, when we push it, it only stays on for a second, and then it turns off, but this, the button will stay on until I tell it to turn off. This is what the flip-flops look like, isolated. And uh, if you look at uh, Sir Dava, so Rolf David's channel, he has an explanation of what these do. He builds a lot simpler one. This one's a huge pain in the ass to build, but it's really thin, so you can put a whole bunch of them together. So I've got eight in a row here. And I labeled one, uh, or labeled all of them for what they are. So these guys go through this little um, field where I rearrange them. It doesn't change anything, just moves them around into this. And this is my adding unit. This is a, um, a 4-bit, um, ripple carry full adder, and what that means is each one of these things that you see, uh, with a sign on it, adds two 1-bit numbers together, but it also takes a carry in, so kind of like when you're adding numbers on paper, and you do, like, 9 plus 8, and you have to carry the 1, that's all this does, is it carries a 1. So this right here is a carry in switch, and what this does is it lets us, um, I can wire this up later if we want to add uh, negative numbers. We would use this. Uh, and that is kind of complicated. I can explain it uh, when I actually wire that up. But basically, just know that in binary, to use negative numbers, you have to have a 1 carry-in. 
So basically all the lines come in and the two low order bits get added here and then that the sum of that comes out the front right here and that goes to the display and then the carry so like if we do the if we do like 1 plus 1 in binary is equal to 2 right and binary for 2 is 1 0 so 0 will go out and a 1 will hop over to this one which adds up uh, so this gives us the number 1 this gives us the maximum the number 2 we have 4 and 8 and then the carry out of 8 is worth 16 points so this line will go up and tell that one, that giant one monitor that I made, whether or not it needs to turn on. So basically, any number greater than 15 that is the, uh, that comes out of the calculator, so if we add up like 8 plus 8 to get 16, then it, since it's greater than 15, this line will turn on, and it'll turn on the one on the monitor. So the one on the monitor is worth 16 points. So when you see this and it says like 1, 0, it doesn't mean 10. It means 1 plus uh, 1 times 16 plus 0, which would be 16. So all these guys um, hook up to my, um, let's see, my 5 to 32 binary decoder that I'm only using 16 of right now. And I shared this in the last video, so I won't spend too much time on it. Which goes into my, let's see, so this is a 16 to 7 segment display decoder. And underneath here I have my finished boat Ooh. counter, thanks to um, Xbox Nuts. So this counts from 0 to 9, um, and this is also hooked up to uh, the 7 segment display. So it'll only show one thing at a time, either the math results from something or the, or the counter here. And um, so I have it all closed off so the farm animals can't get in because I'm an idiot and somehow grass spread down here like AIDS or something. And uh, so this on the side is the reset channel for the boat. And if you see the ladders, those are um, boat boosters. And I'll talk about that sometime when I show you my highway system I'm doing. But, so this is um, what our counter looks like all finished. And there's a great tutorial for this that Xbox Nut did in like four videos. So, check that out. You should be subscribing to him if you're not. Um, I promise my subscription suggestions are always, always worth it. Um, excuse me. So, that is all of our logic here. Is it almost night time? Kind of. So we can walk around and chill for a minute, I guess. Uh, so that's my creeper statue. So let me show you again. Let me give you a little more explanation in binary before we start adding things so you know what I'm talking about. So these lights up here will show us our binary numbers so that we can actually see, like, the number here, if you just add these up, it'll tell you the decimal number, and then up here, it'll tell you the binary number. If it's on, it's a 1, and if it's off, it's a 0. And I really recommend just reading, reading Wikipedia for this. But basically, again, everything on this side will be in hexadecimal, which is 0 through F, or in decimal, 0 through 15. And this, if it's off, ignore it. If this is on, we add 16 to whatever is over here. But don't forget, this will be in hexadecimal. So if we have 16 and then 2, we don't have 12, right? We have 16 plus 2, which is 18. And if we have 16 over here and F over here, which is the biggest number my monitor can display right now, that's 16 plus F is 15, so that would be 31. So the biggest thing we can display right now is 31, which is pretty good. Um, I'm in the middle of building a um, 0 to 255 counter for a... It's for a mob tower, and what we're going to do is count every mob that spawns in it that passes through a grinder, kind of like my trap. And just so we can do some, like, you know, some, like, statistics and see, like, what the spawn rate is and things like that. And uh, so that counter will need two full seven-segment displays because 16 times 16 is 256, and that's how many num numbers we'll have if we have 0 through 255. So we'll need two seven-segment displays. Is it daytime yet? Okay, I might ramble for a minute, and if I go over the 15 minutes, I'll just cut. But, um... So, or we could probably just start doing some math. <laughs> it just looks so much better at nighttime. I don't know if you guys have seen. But, unfortunately, that one is, like, I designed this control panel so that you could see the perfect monitor, and I had to add on to it, so it looks kind of stupid now. So I'm going to move this over, maybe bring in this control panel. But, so let's do some quick little easy math. So the orange shows us the division between our two numbers. We'll call it red A and yellow B. So let's add up um, some easy things first. Let's do 1, which is 2 to the 0. So if we look at binary for 1 is just 
1, and all these zeros in front of it don't change it. And then we'll add up another 1, which is the same thing. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 0, 0, 1. And in binary, that answer would be also 2, but you don't write it as 2, you write it as 1, 0, right? So this was what 2 looks like in binary, 1, 0. But 1 plus 1 gives us 2, like we expect. So then we can turn these off. See how the button is a switch? Um, so then we can try, on the other end, let's try something like um, 4 plus 1. So that's 5. Our number over here is 50101. Zero, one, zero, one. That's binary for 5. And we'll add it to 3, which is 2 plus 1, or 0011. Zero, zero, one, one. 5 and 3 we expect to see 8. There it is. It's a slight delay. Okay, so that's um, this kind of this calculator works. And what I can do is, and this is my plan, hook these up to a, like a numeric keypad, and it'll just be one keypad to add up both of them. And it'll have like a plus sign and then an equal sign like your calculator does. So you'll type in the first number, hit plus, type in the second number, and hit equals, and then it'll go poof, and show up over there. Uh, I guess I can show you the how the boat thing works right now. So I'll turn on the counter power, which turns off the display. And then we say, counter's ready, so start counter. So our boat is going to move into the zero position. And it's perfect timing because it's getting dark now, so we can see the numbers count. So in our 16 bit is off because we're not using that for anything. So we have zero. And then we'll do manual increment for the first one. So it blinked. And it, this will go to one. So we're on one. Now I'll just do the auto counter so that we can watch. Uh, you can see about how fast it goes. It kind of depends on if there's like lag or if there's actually squids in the water, they'll um, completely like clog it and mess up the boats. So I really hope, I haven't seen any down there yet. So I'm thinking that there just aren't any. Maybe they're all like in this lake next to me. I tried to build like a squid like tank over there and it didn't really work. I'm not sure how all those spawns are um, gonna be manipulated. So we got seven, eight, nine. See, this is pretty fast. I mean, this is faster than my addition is. So I'll turn off the auto counter because it's done counting. And now what's happening is the boat is looping back around to the beginning. So it's done when this light turns on. And if I recall, it takes like 30-ish seconds. I tried to make, uh, I made a lot of boosters for the boat. So it goes really fast. And I made um, the channel really short. So fast speed plus uh, short channel means it will not take much time for it to get there. Uh, so any second now it's going to get there. Well, whatever. I know it will. I just don't want to sit here and have to wait for it. Yay, it's back. Okay, so let's try some big numbers over here. We got, so 8 plus 4 plus 2, which is 14, plus 8 plus 4. So that's 12. So our answer is 26, if we think about this in our heads. Oh, wait, no, I did 1. So 8 plus 4, sorry. I need to label these still. <laughs> okay, but um, so what you see here is 1a. And 1a doesn't mean a whole lot unless we kind of think about it. 1 is equal to 16 on my monitor because it's hexadecimal. This is a hexadecimal display right now. So 0 to 31 is the numbers I can display. So we have 16 plus a, where a is 10. So we have 26, exactly what we wanted to see. So this is a um, how you would do a calculator in Minecraft. Um, and this whole thing, really all it's missing to be considered a computer is memory. Um, so that we could uh, do a few things with that. And I'll be using memory to implement the single keypad. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show how I do that. If you want to see how any of this is done, I don't mind at all. The calculator is actually the easiest thing to make out of all of this. Like, look at all this crap. This was so hard compared to the calculator. The calculator took me five minutes. You saw how small it was. So if you want to see how to do that, um, it's really neat. It does addition and subtraction, so without any additional work, really. So that's kind of cool. And then I love having this control panel here with like a jillion buttons. But uh, yeah, so that's it for me showing off not having a life this week. <laughs> but uh, so I'll be putting up uh, minecart tutorials. I want to do a tutorial on a, uh, a modified version of the EATS road system uh, that Etho and his friend devised. And then maybe some redstone tutorials as far as uh, calculators and computers and whatnot. But if there's something you want to see, let me know because I live to serve, and I don't mind showing off anything, anything at all. So you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.